Alright, so if you haven't saved your scene just yet, make sure you do File, Save As, and just give it a name. I'm just calling it 001, and we want to hit the plus symbol. Alright, make sure that you save often because 3ds Max does crash. Um, I'm going to go to my top view here, go to um, my Create tab, and I want to start out by creating a sphere. Uh, the reason I'm using a sphere is the penguin is awfully round, so I will start out with a sphere. When I initially start out with this sphere, it's going to be huge. And just so that you can see that, I mean, huge as far as our triangle count goes. We're shooting for a triangle count around 500 tries. All right, and when I create this initial sphere, is my poly count is 964. You don't want to rely on the poly count when we're shooting with tries, because depending on how the object is constructed, is it could be triangles or it could be quads or n-gons or whatever so what you want to do is right click under on the viewport itself press configure and then right here where it says statistics click on that and click on triangle count then there's also a total selection and total plus selection I'm going to do total plus selection so that we see the total triangle count for the scene plus the triangle count for the selected object so I hit OK, and you'll see that there's two stacks here. We have our total scene count, and then we have our sphere count. So our sphere is actually 960 tries. And that's way too much. Like I said, we're shooting for 500 tries. So I'm going to go to my Modify tab now, and for the segments, I want to drop this down. I'm going to drop it down to 6. And I know that seems awfully crude, but that's actually a, a good start. Remember, we're trying to keep this low poly. We don't need to have this super high. So once this is down to 6, I'm going to adjust my radius a little bit. And then I'm just going to right click and convert to editable poly. When I convert this to an editable poly, is that you'll see that now our sphere is 24 triangles. Again, I don't need this many triangles, so I'm going to go, or I don't need all these faces here, so I'm going to go to my polygon subobject mode and select the top and bottom of the sphere and press delete. The other thing that I want to do is I'll just call this body. Oops. And when I call this body, you can see it updates right here. Um, so now it's just going into my vertex sub object mode and boxing out the penguin. So I have my line of symmetry here, looking at the side view, just trying to see what I can do to make this work. I'm going to use my scale tool and just scale these in a little bit. And the other thing I want to do is just click on an edge like so, click on ring, click on connect for one. The reason I'm adding a connect is so that I can box the penguin out a little more. So I'm going to go to my move tool, move this down to the bottom, and then move this up into his shoulders. Then again use my scale tool and come in, go to my front, come in. this out a little bit and pull this out a little bit. Jump back to my left view, see how this looks. And since I can't really see the reference art right now, I'm going to do Alt X and Alt X will turn on X-ray mode so that I can scale the reference down like so. And I'm just trying to position this. And remember that this is a low poly model, all right? So the key to this is trying to get the form down rather than trying to add in all these intricate details. Uh, if you're shooting for a high poly model, yes, you're going to have details. But with a low poly model, it's all about the form. All right, so now we have a pretty good start. And I know this looks really awkward. But 
this is actually decent. So now I'm going to go to bridge. So I'm going to go to my edge subobject mode, click on bridge, and then go from this edge to this edge. The way the bridge works is that it will connect on a surface that is a quad from one edge to another, or create a polygon from one edge to another. I can do the same for the bottom here. Alright, so once I have that, oops, I want to select this edge and this edge here, and then do a connect. And again, I'm going to do a connect for one so that I can build up the shoulder of the penguin. Um, we don't have the reference art in a typo, so that makes this a little more difficult, but we will work with this. And you can see that I'm just moving with, or moving around with one side, and that's because this half right here, I can technically delete. I don't need it. Uh, the reason I don't need it is I can just apply a symmetry modifier to this and make it work. Uh, you'll see that right now I, I do have some nastiness going on with this um, five-sided face and part of the reason that it is nastiness is the fact that I'm going to be using this to help um, define the arm so it's something that I, I will be fixing but for right now it's it's gonna have to do Again, just reverting back to my reference art. And I'm trying not to um, add too many segments here, if at all possible. Again, I mean, the most important thing that you need to realize is that this is a, a low-poly game character, uh, something that m you might find for a PSP or um, uh, Game Boy DS. Um, so just keep that in mind, is that this is, this is low-poly for that reason. I'm going to add a, a cut. I'm going to go from the bottom here up about right there. And then something like this and I am creating a triangle and this is so that I can create the, the actual um, jacket for the penguin so basically these three faces are going to be used to help define the, the penguins coat and I will just do a bevel local normal and I'm gonna set the height inside like so hit okay and once I do the inside here I'm gonna go select the faces like so and delete those uh, it looks like I need to fix the bottom of the pants or the bottom of the jacket so I'm just gonna delete that face also uh, once I have that, I'm going to go in here and now move these verts. 
So this is like the start of the pants. And also the, the inside jacket here. And it's positioned a little differently, so just going in and making the adjustments. And we'll end up making some more tweaks to this, but again, this is just to get us started because like when we jump to our side view, is that the code actually hangs out more so than the shirt and stuff. So when we actually look at this, is that this should be out further while these pieces down the center should be pushed back. All right, and to see how the body actually is looking here, I'm going to just uncheck my sub-object mode, go to my symmetry modifier, click on flip, move this in close, and then hit Alt-X. So you can see that we start to, to get the definition. Uh, clearly, there's not enough, enough depth on the jacket just yet because of the way that it's caved in like that. But we start to... I mean, hopefully see the full 